हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू टेक्निक इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑक्सीजन ओ एस Now this is based on Android 16. Now we all know that uh, Oxygen OS 15 was really good in terms of optimization. My favorite UI uh, in terms of Android optimization, smoothness and everything looks really good. How good is the Oxygen OS 16? So it comes with a bunch of uh, new features. Uh, again, a bunch of AI features. So uh, design changes. A lot of things have changed. So what are the changes? How does it look? And uh, our experience using the Oxygen OS for more than 15 to 20 days right now. So we have been using the Oxygen OS 16 on the OnePlus 13s so this is the first device to get the Oxygen OS uh, uh, 16 and this is currently the beta version it's not the final build actually but uh, the features are kind of final so we'll uh, get to see what are features it comes with uh, the new uh, tools the new uh, UI the looks everything we'll cover in this video so before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin it So let's have a look at uh, the features. What it comes in Oxygen OS 16. So let's first have a look at uh, what are the new features here. So if you look at uh, the settings panel, uh, you can see here uh, not much change here, but it is more polished now. Home screen, lock screen. We have the flux themes. Now one important change with respect to flux themes is that uh, you have a lot of customization options uh, now. Uh, you get um, Uh, depth effect then you can set video wallpaper custom fonts uh, and uh, text you can add widgets so for example if i am selecting this uh, you can see here i can add widgets there are plenty of widgets available here uh, you can enable the depth effect we can go to the style uh, different styles are there then if you are uh, selecting other uh, lock screen you can see here uh, uh, just uh, select this so i can change the text here previously this option was not available so you can use the ai writer to select the text uh, say for example search you can change that to uh, ai tools or you can go with your own uh, text you can see that there is option to customize the text and then uh, plenty of options otherwise uh, to change the fonts and then uh, uh, get uh, the best lock screen option so flux themes has been uh, redesigned and lot of changes are there so that is one good thing and then you get uh, the always on display full screen uh, classic and and the seamless one then uh, you can customize the lot of things there so flux theme has changed now the ui looks very similar here uh, nothing much change now one important change is that you get all the ai tools in one uh, option so previously it was uh, Uh, segregate it was not in one location it was in different places now we have one plus ai ai search is there ai writer ai translate ai voice scribe and then uh, you have ai recorder so all the ai tools are there mind space uh, is also there so you can see here all the tools are available in one single place and then that's a good thing now apart from that you can see that about device you can see here oxygen os 16 the new look and feel now this is based on android uh, uh 16 and uh, the latest security patch is october 1st 2025 so that's how it looks now one important change uh, with respect to ui is that uh, you can see the notification toggle not much change uh, it's kind of refined i would say and apart from that uh, you can also see that uh the animations are something which is really changed it's extremely smooth in terms of animations you can see here extremely smooth and then the, uh, looks very nice actually you can see here animations looks really good and uh, the smoothness of the ui is something which is really uh, good so that's uh, something which has changed and then the, there is also usage of rounded corners and there is also usage of blur effect as well now fluid cloud now that is something which is uh, changed now previously we had a uh, swiggy somato and uh, timer and few options in the fluid cloud now you can see here additional options are there now you can see here uh, the live scores you can now see that the cricket scores are there uh, for that uh, what you need to do is just uh, click here and uh, go to the uh, more settings you can see a sports from google google and then you can also customize this from the settings Uh, from the notifications you can uh, change it uh, actually and uh, set which all apps you want live alerts you can see here there are plenty of options for live alerts uh, maps sports from google swiggy somato and then music playback all those things are included in uh, the live alert so that's something which is changed now another important change has to be the option to resize the app icon now, for example i am selecting instagram and you can see the option to resize it horizontally or you can resize it vertically now i am resizing it horizontally you get two additional options so click here you can see here i can quickly open camera or a new post i just added two options so if i want to quickly uh, create a new post i just click here instead of going directly to instagram and then uh, changing it i click here that's option is there apart from that similarly you can use for camera as well 
you can see here i've just created for camera uh, you can see option uh, quickly uh, take a portrait and uh, you can see here these are the options available so uh, resizing app icon is something which is new uh, you can see here not all apps support uh, resizing option i mean resizing is possible but then additional tools may not be available say for example re anti to app you can see here it can just resize horizontally or vertically but additional options are there not there but for some apps additional options like these are included so that's the option to resize the app and get additional tools uh, from the app now security has also been improved there is private cloud computing uh, computing cloud that is something which uh, may improve the security all around then there is also plus lock uh, which is the basically additional security if your device is stolen or lost uh, it will be encrypted and your data will not be uh, leaked and then uh, you can retrieve the data using the two factor uh, authentication so those things are available and that's specifically available only in india now these are the options available uh, in the ui then you can see that uh, uh, the uh, the oneplus uh, shelf also has been redesigned you can see additional tools uh, and then uh, widgets are also there so these are some options and you can see here app drawer you can see all the apps and also categories now if you go to categories you can see all the apps are grouped photography entertainment tools social media all these things are grouped you can also uh, rearrange them if you want then multitasking not much change and the camera ui also not much change it's very much similar uh, to the uh, oxygen os uh, 15 now apart from that, uh, as I said before, uh, AI features are the uh, tools here. Now, Mindspace. Mindspace is something which we have covered previously as well. Uh, one plus area where uh, you have the option to collect all the screenshot, all the details, use a voice recorder. You can add everything, whatever you collect from the web uh, to the space and then uh, uh, you can save it. Uh, all these are created as memories. You can see here all the memories I have created is available here. Now, basically the Mindspace has been redesigned. Now, it has been grouped uh, into I, you can see here collections apps and then uh, voice memos you can add voice memos as well you can record uh, actually if you click on the plus key uh, from the mind space I can start recording so right now you can see here I am recording a voice memo uh, with uh, the mind space app once I release the button you can see your eight second audio is created so that's how you can create an audio uh, recording uh, in the plus key uh, using the plus key and now this also supports Hindi language that's something which has changed now another important thing is uh, that uh, there is integration with Gemini now what happens with uh, the integration with Gemini is that once you give access to Gemini to use the mind space it can actually use the AI assistant to get details from Mindspace. Say for example, I'll just connect it now. I'll just ask Gemini. Uh, Gemini, summarize uh, what is there in my mind, Mindspace. Here's a summary of what's in your Mindspace. So it creates the uh, summary of whatever I have added in the mind space. Now, what is what what is this? Why is this useful? Is like uh, say for example, if you're going to some place, uh, we are going to visit some country. You have added all the details of that country in the mind space. Uh, say for example, hotels, accommodations, uh, the places to visit, everything you added uh, in the mind space. And then you are asking Gemini to create an itinerary based on whatever you have saved. Uh, then that will uh, actually create an itinerary from the Mindspace. That's something which is really useful. So, this, so you can add all your data into the Mindspace app and then the Gemini will group it and get you the best option available. Uh, this is also applicable uh, if you are having meetings or uh, if you have something uh, scheduled uh, for uh, coming days, it will uh, get uh, details there and then uh, plan accordingly using the Gemini Assistant. I will go to the uh, AI writer one of the new changes so you can see here I have used the notes application and just selecting this note and you can see here AI writer AI writer you can uh, write a freestyle you can create posts for social media now you can uh, polish the writing you can uh, uh, change the tone uh, whether you want uh, a formal tone or a casual tone or a humorous tone you can proofread it you can uh, create a mind map you can create a table based on whatever text so there are plenty of options with the AI right now with the uh, AI right you can add a uh, uh, create post uh, using the for social media for example if you are using twitter or facebook or instagram you can create your own post uh, using this uh, generator then if you want to create a review based on whatever uh, you have entered you can see that uh, social media post uh, also works for most of the apps so we'll just go here and we'll show you so if i'm just going to uh, compose a new post uh, i can uh, get here you can see the writing tool so once you start writing it will get uh, 
uh, help uh, with mistakes shorten text and use a professional tone and uh, more options are there with the AI write options so AI writer is something which is really useful uh, with uh, the new tools now apart from that there is also AI portrait glow now I'll just show you that option as well just going to photos uh, I'll just select uh, a new photo so I selected a photo click edit and you can see here uh, AI editor now AI editor we have seen already now this is the AI real light option so what this does is uh, if uh, your face is not having enough light it will uh, relight it or if your face is having too much light it will reduce the light so finding the solution based on it you can see a natural light if you can increase or decrease the natural light uh, based on whatever you want now if you are using uh, a low light photography this will show as a torch to increase or dec decrease the light on your face and you can actually compare uh, whatever you have uh, done with the original photo that's the natural light and the ai relight option uh, you can uh, change it apart from that you also have additional option like ai detail boost ai unblur ai reflection eraser those is, those things are available previously as well now another important tool is the video editor now i'm just taking a video I click edit uh, you can see that I have plenty of options available uh, with the AI tools uh, you can see here options available crop resize uh, original audio uh, change uh, the cover then add text uh, unblur lot of options are there so you don't have to uh, go with uh, a new app you can just use this app you can add uh, music from the library you can add your own text so you can see here plenty of options are there so this ai editor uh, video editor brings in plenty of options available to the video so that's something which is really good now apart from that ai uh, productivity uh, helps you to scan uh, pdf so just go here you can uh, go with uh, the scanner document scanner document scanner works very well and you can also translate using this it can create pdf and then uh, you can uh, uh, quickly scan without having a uh, actual scanner then apart from that uh, you can also see there is a recorder option we'll just show you that as well so recorder option uh, you can uh, record your memos uh, call recordings other things you can record and then what it does is uh, once the recording is complete say for example if you're attending a meeting you want to get a summary of the meeting you can just uh, use the recorder and then summarize uh, uh, option is there and if you're attending a meeting where you don't know the language of the speaker there is also ai translate option available AI clear voice so these are options available uh, with uh, the recorder so these tools brings in new features uh, to the recorder option all all of these are using the AI algorithm so performance again uh, as I said before uh, there is something called as parallel processing in uh, Oxygen OS 15 parallel processing is basically uh, when you close an app and open uh, another app the time gap between the app is being reduced using parallel processing before the app is closed or minimized the new app is opened that's parallel processing with uh, parallel processing 2.0 you can actually see that it's more smoother that's something which is really good and apart from that the animations have been made really smooth so these are some uh, changes about Apart from that you can also connect to Mac and Windows using the O plus connect very useful tool we have been using this uh, uh, to transfer all the files from OnePlus uh, Oxygen OS uh, uh, to my Mac because there is no direct option available if, if you are using Windows you can actually use uh, uh, USB uh, cable but with Mac it's very difficult but with O plus connect option you can transfer files seamlessly you can even mirror uh, your phone onto the Mac or Windows now there is also support for Apple watch uh, that means uh, you can get notifications uh, uh, on the watch uh, with uh, the O plus connector and O health if you are installed you get notification and features on the Oxygen OS 16 powered uh, one plus device so that's one uh, important thing and apart from that you can uh, quickly transfer photos uh, and other files uh, using O plus connector uh, installed on your iPhone if you are installed on iPhone and uh, if you have a compatible uh, one plus device you can quickly uh, send by just tapping on the device without uh, uh, using any cables or any other option you can easily send uh, the photo so that's something which has improved so apple connectivity with oxino is uh, 16 has also been improved so that was the oxino 16 in-depth video covering all the aspects so there has been plenty of changes it's definitely one of my favorite ui and uh, absolutely no lags or issues and then uh, it has been improved in terms of performance animation smoothness plenty of new features and new ai tools have been added to the ui so if you get uh, hold of the uh, oneplus oxino 
this uh, 16 do let us know what do you guys think and watching the video what do you guys think about the new ui and what are the features uh, uh, added how do you feel how good it is for you do let us know all of these in the comment section so we'll be coming up uh, with a detailed video of uh, oneplus uh, uh, oxino is uh, 16 for tablets uh, the specifically for the oneplus pad 3 that video is coming up soon then we'll also have a comparison video of oxino is uh, 15 with oxino is 16 so stay tuned for all those videos so this is the one signing off with the oxino is 16 on the oneplus 13s hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day